Welcome back RPG fans. Sorry that I hadn't uploaded the video. I've been having trouble with my screen recorder. But I got something special for you tonight. I'm sorry I didn't get around to the parallax mapping, but I thought of this and I thought, well, y'all would love this more. Lantern effect or flashlight. And look at this. This is no script. Yes, repeat, this is no scripts. But how do we accomplish this? Well, we go to tools, database, common events. Create a name, flashlight, what I called it, whatever, parallel process, flash. Okay. Now, how do we do this? Well, it's simple. We're going to need to create variables. Control variables. I already got mine created, but I'll show you how to do it. Basically, you just pick a number, tap whatever you want it in names. And this, we're going to need player X and player Y. Start with player X. Game data. Character. Make sure that it's screen X. Draw variable again. Player X. Subtract. And normally, RPG Maker is by 44 by 416, but in this, we're going to need by 10. By 416. Otherwise, this will not be centered, and you will have a kind of a weird thing. Go here, play Y. Same thing, then data. Character. Screen white. Back to control variable. Play away. Now we're going to just attract their Y right, four sixteen. Now the picture I'm using comes from Team Unpro. He gave it to people for their games and tutorials, and I am giving them honorable mention. Carry on, you do great work. I show picture 100. Picture graphic. Make sure I'm as variable. We need player X and player Y. Okay, well, that's done. Now we're going to need to create another variable called lights out. And basically, all it does is just erase the picture we created. So, just put erase picture 100 after you name it. Do your conditional switch, and there is the magic. Oops, sorry about that. Four. Additional branch, go to four. But A. Control switches lights out is off. Control switches light flash is on. 
I'm going to do another one. Additional branch. There we go. Button. X. Then we're going to start by feeding out the screen. Go to two. Right here, we're going to add one more thing, which is feed in screen. Okay. And we're going to do show text real quick. Use any character you want. I'm using Kaido. Wait a minute, sure preview looks perfect. In background. And we're going to add one more thing. Let's see. Control switches. Lights out is on here. If it works, we're good. Now let me show you something real quick when we play test this. Your buttons will not match. So you need to right click, go to properties, keyboard. There's A. And X and X. Let's try it. Okay. And A. Thank you. And have a good day. Tomorrow we will do the fake parallax mapping as I promised.